I'm Dr. Stephen Smith and today I'd like to talk to you about a new study from HEPTEC on preventing cirrhosis caused by hepatitis C. This study was done in um, chimeric mice. These are a combination of genes. What they have done is grafted human liver cells onto the spleen of these mice and let them settle in and then they treated them with the anti-fibrotic diet which is in the HEPTEC product and then about a week later they injected them with hepatitis C and then they looked to see what happened and then they harvested the liver cells and looked at the changes in the cellular changes in the liver so this is the first part of the study and let me just go over uh, what we're seeing here these are the uh, control mice that were not uh, inoculated with hepatitis C these are the ones that were in a couple that were infected with hepatitis C and these are some mice that were infected with hepatitis C but previously given the HEPTEC protocol so what they're measuring here is an activated stellate cells. Now the causes of liver fibrosis are many, but the primary cell involved in the fibrosis or cirrhosis of the liver is the activated stellate cell. So what they found is that the cell, stellate cells would go way up in the mice affected with hepatitis C virus, but if they were protected by the antifibrotic diet, they're about the same as the control mice. And the next thing we're going to look at is the actual slides. So here is an uninfected mouse, and we're looking for brown cells, and this is fairly normal. Lots of normal hepatic cells throughout, some little fatty cells here and there, a brown cell here and there. And this is the infected mouse and you see there's brown stringy material all throughout. These are the activated stellate cells and they're starting the formation of fibrosis. And then this is the same type of liver but with the HEPTEC protocol added. And You see this is a fairly healthy looking uh, liver. Lots of normal liver cells. There's a little bit of brown area here but for the most part, it's unaffected by the hepatitis C. The next thing they looked at was cell death. So again, these are your control mice, and these are infected, and the cell death went way up, like typically 30 times, 20 times what the controls did. And you also saw cell death in the treated mice as well, but it was on average about half of what you were seeing with the ones that were not protected. So again, let's look at the slides showing this. This is the unaffected. We didn't don't see any uh, brown cells, which are the dying cells. This is the one infected with hepatitis C. We see all these brown cells all over the place here. And then this one is the one with the HEPTEC and the hepatitis C. We still see brown cells, but they're far fewer than on the unprotected specimens. Now this is the area of collagen, and collagen is the, the main thing we're looking at when we're looking at fibrosis or cirrhosis. Uh, normal liver cells and material is replaced by collagen material. So there's a fair amount of collagen in a normal liver, uh, but when you treat it with hepatitis C, that goes up, and this progresses over time. And you can see there's still collagen production in the protected mice, but just a little bit more than the controls, and much better than the infected. So let's look at the slide so we can actually see this. So this is the uninfected mice here, and you can see these bright areas are the collagen forming. And then 
with the ones with hepatitis C, you can see there it's just all over the place. There's very few areas on the slide that you do not see collagen formation. And then this is the hepatitis C infected mice with the HEPTEC protocol. And you can still see there are areas of collagen formation here and there. But for the most part, large areas of this field, there is no fibrosis. The next stage is fibrosis. We are looking at um, Todd Schneider's fibroscans. What happens in liver disease is there's fibrosis or cirrhosis. And we're seeing this with uh, an instrument called a fibroscan. It measures the flexibility of the liver. It's done with a special type of ultrasound. And the red here is the patient score. And this is Todd Schneider's score at in 2004 when he had grade 4 cirrhosis. And we're going to look at progressive scans done over the years after he's been treated. So this one is 2004, we're going up to 2006, and we see the fibrosis score has dropped from 18 to 7.6. He is now right in the middle of the grade 2, at the bottom of grade 3 fibrosis. There's a slight bit of overlap there. So marked improvement, and then three years later, it's down to 5.8. Remember his original score was 18, and this is a logarithmic scale, so... Uh, the difference between 5.8 and 18 is, is massive. And this puts him in right in the middle of fibrosis grade 1. And then 2011, it's fallen to 4.7, almost normal uh, at the bottom of the fibrosis grade F1. The significance is of this is really enormous because once cirrhosis takes place uh, it's usually not reversible. So what we're seeing here is a reversal of liver disease caused by hepatitis C. It should be noticed that the virus is still present. This does not treat the infection, it just treats the liver. So the liver is no longer susceptible, as susceptible, in fact in this case shows reversal of liver disease. For more information, visit our website.